Jesus, to give you praise once again tonight. Give you glory, give you glory, give you all the glory. Give you all the honor, give you all the adoration, Lord Jesus. No one like you, no one like you, Lord King of Kings, Lord of Lord, mighty God, Prince of Peace. Oh, Reiki, Pashi, the Rebo, the Rebo, the we give you praise, we give you praise, we give you praise, we give you praise. We give you praise, we give you praise, we give you praise, we give you praise. I give you praise, I give you praise, I give you praise. Na 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 ma sana ni ni mo re re mo re wash dia. Raga ba re mo re re mo re mo re wash dia. Na ga ni ma sana ni mo re re mo re mo re wash dia. Na na ma sana ni mo re 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 re. Raga ba sana ni mo re re mo re mo re wash dia kiri. Thank you Lord, thank you Lord, thank you Lord, thank you Lord, thank you Lord. Na 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 ma sana ni mo re re mo re wash dia. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The rock that never fails. Let me hide in you. Baby 
begin to speak, O oh Lord Jesus, murder, mysteries, deliverance, progress, victories, in the name of Jesus, in the name of you, may I not see limitations in the name of you, may I see things the way the Lord says, may I speak like, like my God, because I am created in His image, I am created in His image, I was not created in the image of the angels, even the, even the best angels, I was not created, but He I have created his image. Hallelujah. The Lord speaks. Call for the, the thing that are not to be. Because of fear, because of uh, condemnation and the, and the, and the, what they call it again, accusations. Enemy accusing you. Then he's using that tactics. Know that he brings restriction to what that is meant for you. He's Bring limitation to you in order not to move into that realm that the Lord wants you to move into. In the name of Jesus, in the name of the let me to pray in the name of God this hour. 
every limitation has been set over my tongue, over every thing I've set over my rather the blood of Jesus against you. I declare, let the eyes of my tongue be open. Let the eyes of my tongue be open. Let the eyes of my tongue be open. May my tongue begin to speak mysterious things. Things that human mind cannot comprehend. In the name of Jesus, because I have a mind of God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of May my tongue not speak limitations. May my tongue not see limitations. May my tongue not see limitations of any sort. In the name of Jesus. Remember the life and the lies in the power of tongue. And those imaginations are coming. Anything that doesn't insult the name of God, anything that is not positive, that is coming into your mind, you bring it down in the name of your failure. You bring it down in the name of your. But the thing that belongs to you, you may progress to success. Holiness, righteousness, fruitfulness, justice, and the truth become out of your mouth in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, run in the most secure way. Shall I get ya? Raga ere bo mo kopo ere ba ere bo shiki dia. Raka pa ere bo mo kopo ere ba ere bo shiki dia. Mil mas ere bo mo kopo ere ba shiki dia. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. You know, so everybody who can, who we ever have that kind of grace that give your heart. That God has to come to intervene in his situation. Enemy was telling him lies. What did I say? He was a, a man of valor. But enemy was telling him lies. He was believing the lies that he was hearing. Hallelujah. The reason why that happened is this. The Lord came to the some seed that was sold regarding to his life, but unknowingly to the person that sowed the seed. Because God works respect covenant. God's respect covenant. Hallelujah. That probably in the process of this program that I've been having, there have been some things I would have said about my future. Probably the next generation may not really you know, do it, but the upper because is a seed that I have sown. Somebody must harvest it. That is that sometimes some strange things, some strange favor will just happen to someone. And you don't know where it's coming from. Or at that foundation it was like polluted. It's not really, you know, it deserves the mercy of God. Because someone like me, someone like, you know, someone, the prophet, two prophets someone, somewhere in, in their line have released such kind of blessing to Gideon. That the Lord, by the mercy, see, okay, this is the person who can carry this, this, this mantle. Let me go and, and activate it. In the name of God, and he got the mercy of God. Hallelujah. And the Lord told him, You are the man of Allah. Get up in the name and dust yourself and become who you're supposed to be. Hallelujah. He got up. Hallelujah. We all know how great Gideon was. The enemy was lying to him. Any, are you in such kind of situation? The enemy is lying to you, bringing back to you the things that you have done, your mistakes. The abortion that you have, you have committed, the, the child that you are having that is not, you know, that is not, they don't, don't have a father, or probably the divorce and all those things. Enemy just using them to put you down, using them all to ruin your life in the name of Jesus. In the name of your, those wicked voices of limitation, those wicked voices that you want to bring you down in the name of your, bind them in the name of Jesus. We Turn it over them in the name of Jesus. Do them with the power in the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare. Rise up and take your place. In the name of Rise up and take your place. In the name of Jesus. Are you being accused of one sin or the other? In the name of Place yourself as for forgiveness and take your place. In the name of He did not die for the righteous. He died for the sinners. And the blood is there. The grace is there. In the name of Jesus. To keep you better as you are coming back. Determine your heart to keep on. Make up your mind to keep on in the right path. In the name of God, the Lord will strengthen you. But in case if if mistake happen again, don't stay there. Don't even stay there for a day. Immediately confess your sin and get back. In the name of Jesus, don't allow the power of accusation to steal a moment that the Lord has for you. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord, your this hour. We give you glory, Lord. Blessed be your holy name. Blessed be your name. The power, the rock, hallelujah, that never fail. 
and we hide in you. In you there is power. In you there is victory. In you all we are looking for is in. Thank you, Lord Jesus, this night, O Lord. Blessed be your holy name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for the morning service. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for the afternoon. Thank you for the evening, Lord. We thank you for the myriad things that you have done in the life of my brothers and sisters. Thank you, Lord. People connecting from all walks, you know, different countries and different people connecting. I will thank you, Lord Jesus. And I pray, Lord Jesus, for your blessings upon them. I pray, Lord Jesus, for your multiplication. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We give you glory. We give you glory, oh Lord Jesus. Mark up Reke pasatiria. Nene maka irebo roke irbashidia. Braka irebo ro irba irebo shtikia. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen and amen. Hallelujah. The rock that never fails. The rock that never fails. The rock that never fails. May you know God in the time of your trouble. May you know God. In the time of your difficulties, may you know God in the in a time of uncertainty. That is the God, is the rock. You should stand on. I will never fail you. And that's when I say, I'm standing on the rock. And that rock is Jesus Christ. Unmovable, unshakable. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Raga Basilio. And I pray in the name of Jesus, many master, they will stand on that rock. They will stand on that rock in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank the Lord for what He did today in the afternoon. Hallelujah. We really give Him glory. We really give Him glory. Hallelujah. I was like afraid. Why am I going to preach again after the whole thing? The Lord took the message to another level that we never even thought of. Hallelujah. When the Spirit of God is in charge, hallelujah, there is never a dull moment. <laughs> Seriously. When the Spirit of God is in charge, there is never a dull moment. But when the flesh is everywhere, unfortunately, 30 minutes will look like two hours. One hour will look like, you know, people who go to church today to just spend one hour or two hours. Even with the one hour or two hours, we are complaining. Oh, the, the, the the service is too long because the spirit of God is not there. Seriously, it doesn't matter the preaching or the or the or the or the or the or whatever or the what they call it, the the praise and worship. When the spirit of God is there, when the spirit of God appears, I'm telling you, some who want to go to work or probably they will they will call they will call and tell them, see, sorry, I cannot make it. There's an emergency. But when the Spirit of God is not there, even before the time of the walk, you just spend 30 minutes quickly rush and straight to walk. Whatever. But when the Spirit of God, when the Spirit of God appears, the difference is always clear. And I pray in the name of Jesus that you will never miss a moment how they will tell the Spirit of God in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Him there is power. In Him there is victory. In Him there is everything you are looking out there for. That is you say, my brothers and sisters, come unto me, all ye that labor and heavy laden. There are so many laden today. There are so many labor. There are so many, we are just laboring ourselves. So many heavy laden that you are carrying. Laden of sin. Laden of poverty. Laden of, of, of trouble. Worried about the leaders, about your children, about your own life, about your future, about your job, about your old age. There are so many troubles today. You can't carry them alone, my brothers and sisters. Some of you probably now are pregnant. You don't have husband. Your husband probably, God forbid, when some people they just get pregnant and the husband is dead. And now every body and body and body and body. Thinking about the school, children's education and all those stuff. The school fees. Some you have sent your children to abroad to go and study. But now the source of that thing now sponsoring, you don't know what to do. You definitely gonna know that this child gonna gonna jump into prostitution if you stop sending money. And now the source is dry. You're carrying that burden again. Talk less of no food in the house again for you to eat. You worry about this, worry about that. 
Jesus Christ is giving you an offer. Come unto me, all ye that labor. You are with heavy ladies, loads of worry for anxiety. Say, I will give you rest. I will give you rest. I will give you rest. The disown is asking, how can Jesus give me rest? Trust in him. Trust. Come with all your heart. Truly come with all your heart. The way you are still holding the problems and anxiety and worry and, 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 and unfortunately, you don't want to let go. You are holding and oh Christ help me. Christ said, leave it for me. I will sort it out for you. They just say, you know, hallelujah. You can see the, the example of this very scripture is Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. You have all the worry, all the anxieties. You decide to let it go. Jesus, God, let your will be done. Let your will be done. We are tired of fighting King Nebuchadnezzar. We are tired of all the all the all the complaint and all the all the argument regarding to this matter. Let your will be done. The Lord let us to know Paul and Silas. Let your will be done. Then they express that by singing, by shouting, rejoicing, even in with chains in their hands, even with their trouble, they cast the burden to the Lord. That's how to cast it to Jesus Christ. You forget about your trouble, begin to sing and rejoice in His presence. You push the worry to Jesus Christ. If Jesus Christ was worried about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, sorry, about, about the Paul and Silas. In the process, he was thinking, what should I do to these guys? Jesus Christ carried their burden to the Father. See your son there, perishing. Even in this state of, of ridicule and, and, and deterioration. They are deteriorating. In the process, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, look, he doesn't know what to do. Okay, I'm going to surprise this, my children. They have really proved to me that they love me. They have already proved to me they have cast their buildings to me. What did they do? The Lord sent earthquake, commanded every doors and gates and bars of iron. Every door was open. All the chains in that prison was, was losing. The chains in their hands, the chains on the gates, the chains on their legs, including the bars of iron. Power! 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 Mara destroyed the chains. Cause earthquake. None anymore. Why are you guys holding my children? Hallelujah. That's what you get when you truly cast your body onto the Lord. And I pray in the name of you, whatever is your problem, your worry, your anxiety, in the name of you, cast them to the Lord because He cares for you in the name of Jesus. The rock that never fails, we hide in you. We lay our body, we lay our all to you in the name of Lord Jesus. We pray. Amen and amen. And now we're going to go straight down to our confessions in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, manifest your power once again tonight. In the name of Jesus. Psalm 23 from verse 1 to end. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit of Lord, confess through your children. In the name of Jesus. And let us our tongue are open to declare these words. Let them begin to manifest in our lives. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. And those who have been following us, when you follow us, you just you just listen to us and say amen, amen. Even when you call the Bible that is, you don't even do anything. Hallelujah. Tonight, in the name of you, I decree, let those tongues be losing. In the name of Jesus. Let those tongues be losing. In the name of Jesus. Begin to speak these words. Out there that, that are full of life, that are full of strength to your own life, to your own situation in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 
and we begin to see the manifestation of the very words in your lives. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in great pastures, and he leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valleys of shadow of death, I fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff they comfort me. You prepare the table before me in the presence of my enemies. You are not my hair with oil, my cup overflows. Hallelujah. Sure, the goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the in the house of the Lord forever and ever. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Rago bo soto reba jere bo shiye. Nene man sanereya. Psalm fifty nine from verse one and two. Deliver me from my enemies, O oh my God. Protect me from those who rise up against me. Deliver me from those who walk evil. Save me from bloodthirsty men. In the name of Jesus, again for your brothers, your sisters, your country, wherever you are, deliver us from our enemies, O oh our God. Protect us from those who rise up against us. Deliver us from those who walk evil and save us from blood testament. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Even if you feel that you don't have any physical human enemy, fear is your enemy. All those restrictions and those, um, you know, you know, you invest money into business and it's not um, prospering or it's not, it's not yielding uh, as you expected. It's your, it's the enemy is attacking your business. Earlier, then you have different enemy that you know and the one you don't know. Therefore, when we pray this prayer, don't shut your mouth or don't allow Satan to to stop you. In the name of pray it with everything in you. In the name of Jesus. The person, you know, this crypto, this Bible, this very what you're doing here, they, they were revealed by the Spirit of God to those who wrote them. And therefore, when you begin to feel that, oh, this prayer is too much, how will God destroy my enemy? How unfortunately you are fooling yourself, and the enemy is playing, is playing drums in your head. Seriously. He's making caricature of you. May God deliver us in the name of Jesus. Because he's ready to do anything to stop you from taking that that belongs to you. Do everything to stop you from stopping your enemy or their wickedness against your, your life. Do everything to make shut your eyes to the wickedness that is surrounding you. May God deliver us in the name of Jesus. And I pray in the name of Jesus, such kind of siege against us. The blood of Jesus against you in the name of Jesus. We scatter, we destroy. We take our place in the name of Jesus. We take our victory, we take our victory. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Psalm 91 from verse 1 to end. Hallelujah. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge, my fortress, my God, in whom I trust. For he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler, from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinion, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and a buckler. You will not fear the terrors of the night, nor the arrow that fly by day. You will not fear the person that's talking in darkness. You will not fear the destruction that wastes at no day. In the name of Jesus. This fourfold destruction will not see you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Verse 7. A thousand may fall at your side. Ten thousand at your right hand. But it may not, it will, it will not come near you. You will only look with your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked. In the name of Jesus, amen. Because you have made the Lord your dwelling place, the Most High, who is your refuge. No evil shall be allowed to befall you. In the name of Jesus, amen. No plague will come in your tent. In the name of Jesus, amen. For the Lord has commanded his angels, hallelujah, to guide you in all your ways. In the name of you will receive angelic ministries. In the name of Jesus. On your head they will bear you up. You will not strike your foot against stones. In the name of Jesus. You will tread on the lion and the other. The young lions, the serpent, you will trample underfoot. In the name of Jesus. 
in the name of Jesus. Because you, because he hold fast to me in love, I will deliver him. I will protect him because he knows my name. When he calls to me, I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will rescue him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Blessed be your holy name, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Psalm 144. Psalm 144. From verse 1 to, to the end again. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my head for war and my fingers for battle. He is my steadfast love and my fortress, my stronghold my, and my deliverer, my shield in whom I take refuge in the name of Jesus, who subdues people under me. Oh Lord, what is a man that you regard him? Or a son of man that you think of him? Man is like a bread, his days like a passing shadow. Bow your heavens, oh God, in the name of him. Come down, toward the mountains, so the smoke, in the name of Jesus. My flood for the lightning and scatter, uh, uh, scatter them, in the name of Jesus. Send out your arrow and root them. Stretch out your hand from on high. Rescue me and deliver me from many waters from the hands of the foreigners whose mouth speaks lies whose right hand is right hand of falsehood i will sing a new song to you O god upon a ten string harp i will play to you who give victory to kings who rescue david the servant from a cruel sword rescue me and deliver me O lord from the hands of the foreigners whose mouth speaks lies whose right hand is right hand of falsehood may our son in their youth being a plant full grown, our daughters come, our daughters like the corner pillars, call for a structure of a palace. May our granaries be full, providing all kinds of produce in the name of Jesus. May our sheep bring forth thousands and ten thousand in our field. May our cattle be heavy with young, suffering no mishap or failure in bearing in the name of Jesus. May there be no cry of distress in our streets. Blessed are the people to whom so blessing for. Blessed are the people whose God is the Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We give you glory, Lord. There's no one like you, Lord. Hallelujah. No one like you, Lord Jesus. No one like you, Lord. No one can do the things you do. Blessed be your holy name. In the name of Jesus, we pray. The rock that never fails. Hallelujah. The rock that never fails. Let me hide in you. In you there is power. In you there is power. In you there is power. Lama Kopo Yerba Jada Yibasti. In you there is power. In you there is power. Hallelujah. Let's go now to the, the Bible reading. Psalm chapter 69 from verse 1 to end. And book of Acts chapter 5 from verse 1 to end. Father, bless this your word this night, O oh Lord. Speak to our hearts, O oh Lord Jesus. Transformation and healing, O oh Lord. Open our eyes, O oh Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let this word bring transformation. Hallelujah. Do more than we can ask or think. In the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Psalm chapter 69. Psalm 69. Thank you, Jesus. Let me hide in you, Jesus. Let me hide in you. Oh, thank you, Lord. For open the eyes of our, of our heart, O oh Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Speak to us, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Psalm chapter 69 from verse 1 to end. In the name of Jesus. 
Thank you, Lord. To the choir master, according to lilies of David. Save me, O God, for the waters have come up to my neck. I sink in deep mire where there is no foothold. I have come into deep waters and the flood sweeps over me. Mm. I am weary with my crying out. My throat is parched. My eyes grow dim with waiting for my God. More in number than the hairs of my head are those who hate me without cause. Mm. Mighty are those who would destroy me, those who attack me with lies. What I did not steal, must I now restore? O oh God, you know my folly. The wrongs I have done are not hidden from you. Let not those who hope in you be put to shame through me, O oh oh, Lord Jesus. God of hosts. Let not those who seek you be brought to dishonor through me, O God of Israel. For it is for your sake that I have borne reproach, that dishonor has covered my face. I have become a stranger to my brothers, an alien to my mother's sons. For zeal for your house has consumed me, and the reproaches of those who reproach you have fallen on me. When I wept and humbled my soul with fasting, it became my reproach. When I made sackcloth my clothing, I became a byword to them. I am the talk of those who sit in the gate, and the drunkards make songs about me. But as for me, my prayer is to you, O Lord. At an acceptable time, O God, in the abundance of your steadfast love, answer me in your saving faithfulness. Amen. Deliver me from sinking in the mire. Let me be delivered from my enemies and from the deep waters. Amen, Jesus. Let not the flood sweep over me, or the deep swallow me up, Amen. or the pit close its mouth over me. Mm. Answer me, O Lord, for your steadfast love is good. According to your abundant mercy, turn to me. Hide not your face from your servant, for I am in distress. Make haste to answer me. Draw near to my soul, redeem me. Ransom me because of my enemies. You know my reproach and my shame and my dishonor. My foes are all known to you. Reproaches have broken my heart so that I am in despair. I looked for pity, but there was none. And for comforters, but I found none. They gave me poison for food, and for my thirst they gave me sour wine to drink. Let their own table before them become a snare, and when they are at peace, let it become a trap. Let their eyes be darkened so that they cannot see, and make their loins tremble continually. Pour out your indignation upon them, and let your burning anger overtake them. May their camp be a desolation, let no one dwell in their tents. For they persecute him whom you have struck down, and they recount the pain of those you have wounded. Add to them punishment upon punishment. May they have no acquittal from you. Let them be blotted out of the book of the living. Let them not be enrolled among the righteous. But I am afflicted and in pain. Let your salvation, O God, set me on high. I will praise the name of God with a song. I will magnify him with thanksgiving. This will please the Lord more than an ox or a bull with horns and hooves. When the humble see if they will be glad, you who seek God, let your hearts revive. For the Lord hears the needy and does not despise his own people who are prisoners. Mm -hmm. Let heaven and earth praise him, the seas and everything that moves in them. For God will save Zion and build up the cities of Judah, and people mm -hmm. shall dwell there and possess it. Mm -hmm. The offspring of his servants shall inherit it, mm -hmm. and those who love his name shall dwell in it. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. May the Lord answer our prayer tonight in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. The word of God said in verse 3b, he said, My eye grow dim with waiting for my God. My eyes grow dim in waiting for my God. You see, the flesh is trying to tell, tell him there that he's um, that you wasted too much time in waiting for the Lord. 
that you're getting tired, you're getting weak, you're waiting for the Lord. You remember something that our flesh is always at war against our sources, against what the Lord has for you and me, against the good thing that is coming to our life. Our flesh is always at, at war. Because you want to always put us under subjection. Remember, what God said that the, the, the spirit and the and the and the, the spirit, the spirit and the flesh, they are always at war. May God help us in the name of Jesus. But here David understood the tactics. He understands the game. He had to suppress and subdue his flesh from opposing what the Lord is about to do. Hallelujah. Because the Lord is about to give him his deliverance. Hallelujah. May God help us in the name of Jesus. We will wait until we get what the Lord has for us. We will not, you know, break out at the, at the, at the, at the halfway. And so we are not doing any more. Or allow distraction to do to 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 wipe or to take our feet away and from a place of waiting in the name of the we declare and declare that every tactics and every wicked spirit that have come to steal to destroy run the rebush take care we destroy we destroy you will not prevail over us in the name of subdue in the name of Jesus Amen and Amen Hallelujah Say, let not those who hope in the Lord be put to shame. And through me, O oh God of hosts. Let not those who seek you be brought to dishonor through me. O oh God of Israel. For it is for your sake that I have borne reproach. That dishonor has covered my face. The most time, our reproach, our dishonor is associated to the thing that we accept to our lives. Because when those imagination comes, we, are, we allow them to settle. In the process, Satan will start magnifying them. We do so as making useless mistakes that were supposed not to be allowed at all. Don't accept the things that we are supposed not to accept. The God be us in the name of Jesus. We will pray in the name of Jesus. Receive sufficient grace in the name of Jesus. Over every opposition, over every trial, over every challenges in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I pray in the name of Jesus, the zeal of the Lord will consume us. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Let the zeal of the Lord consume us. When the zeal of God consumes us, when we are moving under the zeal of the Lord, definitely you're going to get the lot of people who doesn't really understand. They will begin to, you know, challenge you, they begin to mock you and all those stuff. All those are tactics of the enemy. And the enemy will make you to hear the mockery. Enemy will make you to hear those uh, negative words against you. Or in order to cause distraction. So that your flesh will begin to pover. Oh, why? why? Why should you? How dare you do this thing to me? Because Satan wants to use their mockery to pop up your flesh. So he can deny you. Because now, because your flesh is now, you know, bragging. Your flesh is now angry. Try to reply. Try to show that you are something. In the process. Anger setting. Impatience setting. Discouragement setting. Mistake in the, in, in, start setting in. And for who knows what is happening. You you, you 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 have already started fighting or sending some useless test message and begin to allow the enemy to take over. Remember the, the words you release, the things you release when you are angry, when you cannot control yourself, 
is not retrievable. It's not retrievable. That's the reason why when we are angry, or when the enemy begin to, you know, bring this ugly thing, or begin to make it begin to see the negative thing that your sister, your brother, your in-law, your 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 neighbor is doing again to you. When you begin to meditate on it, the Lord expects you to cast that imagination, that negative imagination you're having towards your neighbor, towards your brother or sister. You cast it down. Because if you don't cast it down, it becomes a platform of manipulation. It becomes a platform of distractions. It becomes a platform of planting anger, planting hatred, planting wickedness, planting unforgiveness. The enemy will begin to magnify and magnify until he steals and destroys you. And I pray in the name of Jesus, the Lord will deliver us from those manipulations. In the name of Jesus, and every lies and every wickedness of the wicked over our life, the blood of Jesus against you, we uproot your evil voices from every department of our lives. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Now, we're going to go straight now to the book of Acts, chapter 5, from verse 1 to end. Thank you, Jesus. Chapter 5 But a man named Ananias, with his wife Sapphira, sold a piece of property, and with his wife's knowledge, he kept back for himself some of the proceeds, and brought only a part of it, and laid it at the apostles' feet. But Peter said, Ananias, why has Satan filled your heart? Before we continue, I just want to, let me just play the last few verses of chapter 4. And from there, you'll be able to understand the scripture better. Hallelujah. That verse 4, you know, will really, really, really help us to understand this very chapter better. Hallelujah. God help us in Jesus' name. Chapter 4. Okay. Oh, and no one said that any of the things that belonged to him was his own, but they had everything in common. And with great power the apostles were giving their testimony to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great grace was upon them all. There was not a needy person among them, for as many as were owners of lands or houses sold them and brought the proceeds of what was sold and laid it at the apostles' feet, and it was distributed to each as any had need. Thus Joseph, who was also called by the apostles Barnabas, which means son of encouragement, a Levite, a native of Cyprus, sold a field that belonged to him and brought the money and laid it at the apostles' feet. Chapter 5 But a man named Ananias, with his wife Sapphira, sold a piece of property, and with his wife's knowledge, he kept back for himself some of the proceeds, and brought only a part of it, and laid it at the apostles' feet. You see, the other guy sold his, and brought everything to the, to the church, and gave it to the church. Then now uh, these guys, nobody asked them to sell. See, you see what jealousy can cause? They are jealous about the man that just sold his, his own. Then they did not sell. Now they, 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 they gave every, they, they are bringing every other game to the church. Nobody's acting that they're just lying and trying to cause unnecessary strife, unnecessary pickering in the church. That's the, the reason why the Lord called them short. May God deliver us in the name of Jesus. Let's continue. But Peter said, Ananias, why has Satan filled your heart to lie to the Holy Spirit and to keep back for yourself part of the proceeds of the land? While it remained unsold, did it not remain your own? And after it was sold, was it not at your disposal? Why is it that you have contrived this deed in your heart? You have not lied to man, but to God. When Ananias heard these words, he fell down and breathed his last. And great fear came upon all who heard it. The young men rose and wrapped him up and carried him out and buried him. 
After an interval of about three hours, his wife came in, not knowing what had happened. And Peter said to her, Tell me whether you sold the land for so much. And she said, Yes, for so much. But Peter said to her, How is it that you have agreed together to test the Spirit of the Lord? Behold, the feet of those who have buried your husband are at the door, and they will carry you out. Immediately she fell down at his feet and breathed her last. The reason why this was happening in the church because there was a spirit of God, a spirit of unity in the church. Remember, in this, in this very, in this very verse, the church, the, 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 there was increase of three thousand. Then from the increase of three thousand now to five thousand, that means the church is having about eight thousand people, and they're walking in unity. Oneness. I mean, you see, the power of unity is 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 is, is great. You see, the one the unity is has brought, you know, real people who are serving God in spirit and in truth, in oneness. Then now Satan being angry of this very revolution, of this very revival. Start putting in the heart of these ones to start causing the church to start going down the drain so that Satan can have you know a place to, to start accusing the church of Christ in the presence of God. And because of the unity, because of the power of unity, hallelujah. That's the reason why these guys have to go. So that the unity and the love and the good thing the Lord is doing in the life of the people can continue. So that envy, strife, jealousy will not set in. May God deliver us in the name of Jesus. And I pray in the name of Jesus, the Lord will open our eyes in the name of Jesus to the, to the benefit that is embedded in unity. As the word of God told us already, that the two will chase what? 10,000. And one will chase 1,000. That means there's massive, there's massive benefit, there's massive gain when two people agree together in order to do something. Talk less of when a family agrees together to do something. Hallelujah. May God help us in the name of Jesus to see the benefit embedded in unity in the name of Jesus. When the young men came in, they found her dead and they carried her out and buried her beside her husband. And great fear came upon the whole church and upon all who heard of these things. Now many signs and wonders were regularly done among the people by the hands of the apostles. And they were all together in Solomon's portico. None of the rest dared join them, but the people held them in high esteem. And more than ever, believers were added to the Lord, multitudes of both men and women, so that they even carried out the sick into the streets and laid them on cots and mats, that as Peter came by, at least his shadow might fall on some of them. The people also gathered from the towns around Jerusalem, bringing the sick and those afflicted with unclean spirits, and they were all healed. Hmm. But the high priest rose up, and all who were with him, that is, the party of the Sadducees, and filled with jealousy, they arrested the apostles and put them in the public prison. But during the night, an angel of the Lord opened the prison doors and brought them out and said, Go and stand in the temple and speak to the people all the words of this life. And when they heard this, they entered the temple at daybreak and began to teach. Now when the high priest came and those who were with him, they called together the council, all the senate of the people of Israel, and sent to the prison to have them brought. But when the officers came, they did not find them in the prison, so they returned and reported, We found the prison securely locked and the guards standing at the doors, but when we opened them, we found no one inside. <laughs> now when the captain of the temple and the chief priests heard these words, they were greatly perplexed about them, wondering what this would come to. And someone came and told them, Look, the men whom you put in prison are standing in the temple and teaching the people. <laughs> Oh, then the captain with the officers went and brought them, but Rock not by force, it, 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 for they were afraid of being stoned by the people. Mm. And when they had brought them, they set them before the council. 
And the high priest questioned them, saying, We strictly charged you not to teach in this name, yet here you have filled Jerusalem with your teaching, and you intend to bring this man's blood upon us. But Peter and the apostles answered, We must obey God rather than men. The God of our fathers raised Jesus, whom you killed by hanging him on a tree. God exalted him at his right hand as leader and savior to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. And we are witnesses to these things, and so is the Holy Spirit whom God has given to those who obey him. When they heard this, they were enraged and wanted to kill them. But a Pharisee in the council named Gamaliel, a teacher of the law held in honor by all the people, stood up and gave orders to put the men outside for a little while. And he said to them, Men of Israel, take care what you are about to do with these men. For before these days, Theudas rose up, claiming to be somebody, and a number of men, about four hundred, joined him. He was killed, and all who followed him were dispersed and came to nothing. After him, Judas the Galilean rose up in the days of the census and drew away some of the people after him. He too perished, and all who followed him were scattered. So in the present case, I tell you, keep away from these men and let them alone, for if this plan or this undertaking is of man, it will fail. But if it is of God, you will not be able to overthrow them. You might even be found opposing God. <laughs> So they took his advice, and when they had called in the apostles, they beat them and charged them not to speak in the name of Jesus, and let them go. Then they left the presence of the council, rejoicing that they were counted worthy to suffer dishonor for the name. And every day in the temple and from house to house, they did not cease teaching and preaching that the Christ is Jesus. How they, they found themselves worthy of suffering of the peace persecutions. Hallelujah. They can see how Satan can blind the eyes of human beings. How stubborn Satan can be. These guys were locked in the prison. And the morning, <laughs> oh God, may God disgrace your enemy in the name of you. Put them to shame and confusion. In the name of Jesus. Confusion. Let it be the portion of your enemies. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Manifest your power, Lord. In everything that concerns your children. Let the enemy know that you are God. And I pray in the name of Jesus. That our brothers, our sisters, those who are on that demonic kind of physical, whatever kind of wickedness, find Lord disgrace the enemy and all the accusers in the name of Jesus. You see what the spirit of God can do, and that is the spirit that the Lord Jesus Christ said, I desperately want this spirit to be on you and me, on us. You want the Spirit to be on us. You can see the benefit of the Spirit of God. Those who are arrested, thrown in the prison. Bible the angel of God went and asked Peter, come out from this prison and let him out. After that, they ordered go to where you're supposed to be preaching. Without the fear of anything, he went there the person that was in the prison, go there and start preaching again. Instead of him to open, the prison was open, he was supposed to do what? Run away and hide him. Take the closest ship or flight or whatever and disappear. In the very place he was arrested. <laughs> Stop. Go back there. Hallelujah. That's what the Spirit of God can do. That is why I keep calling the Church of Christ. Let's come back to the God of the Act of Apostle, where it all began. Sincerity, unity gave back to these mind blowing testimonies. Sincerity, unity, oneness, love. May God help us in the name of Jesus. 
Today we have those we call as we call them pastors. We call them men or women of God. You have fleet of cars. And you have your elders. They don't even have any at all. The church will finish. And they are going finish late. The, those who have worked, they are walking barefooted. Going to their home. And you have your spare cars packed in the church. And you have cruise beside them. Zoom off. You don't care. You don't care. Did we see that in the book of Acts? No. The Bible says everyone was, was one. Some of the, you have millions in your, in your account. And you can see some people in the, the, the school that, you, that, that they contributed to build. They cannot afford to take their children into those schools. Does that reflect the book of Acts? The what you just read now? Doesn't reflect it. Because you, we are saying what? Oh, you know, we have to be wise. The prophet need to have his own money too. In those days, nothing like that. We understood the call of Christ in our lives. That we said they share everything in common. They rely on God to be the supply. They rely on God to be the provider. May God have mercy on us in the name of Jesus. But the worst things about this whole this whole this whole scenario, you know, about 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 this latest uh, religious things, both Christianity and other religions, we are collecting money from these poor people. Collecting money from these people, and these same people are collecting for money from. We know that some of them. Are struggling to pay their, their rent, struggling to meet their daily needs, struggling to take care of their children. And when they position to help, but we refuse to help, asking them to believe in the God of Israel. But in a out of apostle, the God was visible. Everybody there will work together in unity and show love to one another. Yeah, the Bible says that some people who have something, who have more than enough sell their, their extra houses and brought the gain. They didn't say that they took the whole money. They said they brought the gain they made to the church. They gained them because they haven't had enough to help the poor, to help the needy. But today, we have people who are poor and who will definitely know their condition to buy jets, to buy expensive cars, to live in a mansion, it's not living or having all these things are a problem. But if you have an idea of those who are going through these things, or you don't even need to have an idea, try to know what is happening, especially your closest, you know, you know, workers, those who are working with you, traveling with you, doing service, cleaning the church, try to know their welfare. Hallelujah. In the process, the law will continue to provide. Hallelujah. Because there's something that happens here. What we, what we fail to understand. When our, our heart is set to serve God and uncompromisingly, He will give you and me, He will give us great wisdom to be able to generate wealth. Because our heart is not, you know, we are not, we are not, we are not, we are not, we are, we are not, we are not selfish, you know. And again, we are not, we are not self -set, we are not, uh, what is that word again? How dear? How dear? We are there for the community, we are there for the assignment the Lord has given to us. Just like what happened to the, and the, and the, the, the uh, uh, to, 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 to Solomon. Solomon said, God, Bless me with wisdom and knowledge so I'll be able to lead these people. So I'll be able to be good to these guys. He wasn't asking for his own personal gain. But in the process, the Lord now supplying him with incredible wisdom and understanding. And the way to carry out those wisdom and knowledge to make it become, you know, a, a money, monetary terms. In the process, the Bible said that everybody in Israel, silver was like sand. Everybody were rich. Hallelujah. 
God can still make people to be rich in the, in the church when things are done in the right way. Because like, like this book of Acts now, these guys is the Lord that gave them that wisdom, that knowledge, understanding to sell these things and make gain. I still have the capital from investing to another business. It's God that gave him the wisdom. And know that that matter them that this time is, is the time you can sell. I and mean, there's a lot of buyers who will buy and you may gain. God I gave the wisdom. Because the church was operating in the right, in the right, in the earlier. In love. But when there is envy and jealousy and all those stuff, all this wisdom and knowledge will be withdrawn for the church because there's no platform for it. May God help us in the name of Jesus. And I pray in the name of you, we'll be able to see the reason to turn back either to the old time religion. Because there's peace, there's joy, either there's, there, there's so much blessings earlier when we work together in unity. Even to the extent that they arrested Peter and the Lord released him because of the unity, the oneness. The whole church, they were crying as a one man. As a one man. That's the reason why this guy, when they've been arrested, they released them. But today, as some people are crying for, even if they arrest your pastor, some people are trying, even, well, let them stay there because they are eyeing that position. Then how would they, they cannot bring it because the church is divided. The church is divided. But when we walk in oneness, in one mind, there's no way we will not experience this kind of miracles in our, in our, in our, in our churches. Hallelujah. But that is the benefit of walking as one in love and without jealousy, without hatred, without envy. Hallelujah. And I pray may God help us in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And towards the end of this very story, and verse 7 says something that really is in our track my eyes. Hallelujah. 17. He said, But the high priest rose up, and all who were with, with him, that is, the party of the Sadducees, and filled with what jealousy, they arrested the apostles and put them in the public prison. Imagine those who are supposed to, you know, you know, you know, you know, protect these guys. That's the reason why the Bible says that your enemy is a member of your household. Those who know them better arrested them and put them in the prison. May God deliver us in the name of Jesus. May God deliver us in the name of Jesus. And I pray in the name of Jesus, every real, anyone who knows us and is planning this kind of evil against us. In the name of Jesus. Let them fall into their own pit. In the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Verse 37 to the end. He said, after, 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 after him, Judas, the Galilean, rose up in, in the days of the census and drew away some of the people after him. He, he too perished. And all who followed him were scattered because he's a false prophet so in the present case i tell you keep away from these men and let them alone leave them alone for if the, he, this plan or their or, or the or the what they are doing is not from the spirit of god if this plan or these undertakings of of this undertaking is of man, it will fail. But if it is of God, you will not be able, you will not be able to overthrow them. You might even be found opposing God. So they took his advice, and that when they had called in the called in the apostles they beat them and charged them not to speak in the name of Jesus and let them go then they left the presence of the council rejoicing that they were counted worthy hallelujah 
they were counted worthy. They were rejoicing and that they were counted worthy, hallelujah, to suffer dishonor for the name, hallelujah, for the name of Jesus. And every day in the temple and from house to house, they did not cease teaching, preaching that Jesus, about Christ Jesus, hallelujah. That's what the Spirit of God can do. Especially when you are moving in the path of justice, the path of righteousness, the path of truth. It sets you free. It sets your mind free from the fear of the unknown. When you surround yourself with truth, your mind is liberated. People may not understand why you rejoice. People may not understand why you sound the way you sound. Even when it looks as if Things are totally not good around you. But they cannot understand the joy that comes from the truth. The joy that comes, hallelujah, from holiness and righteousness. The joy that comes from true love. When we love one another and love God with everything in us. May God help us in the name of Jesus. And tonight I want us to be able to ask the Lord, please Lord, help me, O Lord Jesus. Draw me closer, Lord. Nearer, nearer, blessed Lord. Nearer, draw me nearer, Lord. Draw me right nearer to you, Lord. Ragebo said the rebo shed the back. I did in a mass and nearer, Lord, nearer, Lord, nearer to thee. Bragaba satire. Draw me nearer, Lord, nearer, nearer, nearer. In the name of Jesus. Men in a mass and a rebo reboshia. Groco puerba rada rebo reboshia. In the name of Jesus. In the name of your father, draw me nearer, Lord. Nearer, Lord, nearer, Lord, nearer, Lord, nearer, Lord. Rekepo so the rebo shigia. In the name of Jesus, 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 draw me, draw me, draw me nearer, Lord, nearer to you, Lord Jesus, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Ma ra ta da ba ko ro ire bo ro ko ire ba ra ri ni ni ma ra ri 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 ma ro ko po ire ba ra ta ire bo shi. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Ma ra ni ni mo sho ro ro bo shi ro bo shi ro bo shi dia. Ma ra ni ra ka pa ire bo zo ro ro ire bo shi dia. Ni ni ma sa ire bo ro ko ire ba ire dia. Jesus draws nearer, Lord. Draws nearer, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. I want us to take this scene together. Hallelujah. Draw me nearer. Draw me nearer, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thy, oh Lord, I have heard your voice, and is told thy love to me. But I long to rise in the arms of faith. Oh, praise thee.
thy throne I spend when I need prayer and with thee my God I call you as friend To the cross we are down the name of Jesus. Oh, through me near, near a blessed Lord. To the cross the Lord tonight in the name of Father, draw me nearer to you. Nearer, 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 Lord Jesus. Father, let everything that surrounds me may begin to eat. Hallelujah. To me coming nearer and nearer. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every way I think this of the wicked one to distance me from you. The blood of Jesus against them. 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 In the name of Jesus. Nearer, nearer, bless the Lord. Nearer, nearer, bless the Lord. Nearer, nearer to you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Nearer, nearer, Lord. Nearer, nearer. In the name of Jesus. Nani masang eriboro ini masih ya. Nani masang eriboro ya. Nira, nira, nira to you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray. So shall it be. I want to be to ask the Lord in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, all the way we have sinned against you, Lord. And every door that you have opened, Lord, to be distancing ourselves from you. Father, Lord, we repent from all our mistakes, O Lord. We repent, O Lord, from those that we have accepted unknowingly to what we are accepting. Lord, to what we have ignored. Father, Lord Jesus, have mercy on us, O Lord Jesus. Cleanse me of more my righteousness. Cleanse me, O Lord Jesus, have mercy. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Repeat this words with me in place. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you all this hour. I know I've sinned against you so many ways. Please forgive me. Cleanse me, O Lord, from all my righteousness. Come into my life and be the Lord of my life. Move from now to the rest of my life. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and amen. So shall it be. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. In the name of Jesus. Now, please let us quickly go to the next, to our last uh, confession tonight. And yes, Psalm chapter 124, from verse 1 to end. Blessed be your holy name, Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, let Israel say, If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, 
when people rose up against us, they would have swallowed us up alive. When the anger was kept against us, the flow would have swept us away. The torrent would have gone over us. Then over us would have gone the raging waters. The blessed be the Lord, who have not given time with Jesus Christ's ministry. Who have not given ISIS, who have not given United Kingdom, who have not given Biafra, who have not given us as a prey to their teeth. Hallelujah. We have escaped like a bird from the snake of the fowler. The snail is broken. We have escaped because our help is in the name of the Lord who made the heavens and the earth. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your mercy. Thank you, Lord, for the things you've done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus, tonight, your Lord. Let's say your holy name, O Lord, for answering our prayers. Let's say your holy name, Jesus. Amen. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord protect you. May the Lord smile on you. May the Lord be gracious to you. May the Lord show you his favor and give you his peace. And I pray that as you go to bed tonight, you sleep and wake up with a counter in the name of transformations in the name of Jesus. And after all, in the name of the Lord, we come to be glorified in every area of our lives. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Love you all. I have a very wonderful night trust. God bless you all. In the name of God. See you again early morning service. Amen. God bless you all. In Jesus' name. Amen.